resident of Craig, Colorado in Moffat County. I'm also a coal miner and uh, I guess I'm a little concerned about HB 1365. I'm pretty sure what will happen with the clean air bill was it, it will end up cutting probably at least half the jobs between the two counties. Three different huge mines that are here in the general area. There's an underground mine, there's two surface mines. At the underground mine, which is 20 miles, we have over 500 employees. And they'll all be affected by 1365. Yeah. It's be a huge impact. These people have to leave the area or they're going to have to find something else to do. But a lot of these families, this is all they know. I don't have a job anymore. I mean, right now, I mean, everybody that works at all the coal mines around here, I mean, that's basically the economy around here is the coal mines and the power plants and all that. That, you know, I says, this was a backroom deal from the get-go. Number number two is is that, I says, I would appreciate it if you guys would get back to the process. And, and the process that this um, 1365 uh, was, or, or the way you implemented it, was totally wrong. And, and I'll say that because uh, it was hurry up. In other words, I don't think there's a need for hurry up legislation. And anytime there's a hurry up need for legislation, that sends a red flag. Yes. And when you only have a week to, or two weeks to respond, you know there's something something wrong. With you. I've been a coal miner for 30 years. My dad worked for 18 years out there, I believe. And then now you? And now me, I've been out there a year and a half. Uh, this whole area will go into a way deeper recession, depression than what we're in now. It's, it's one of the most... Uh, it's one of our best forms of economy here. People that work at the mines buy from everybody else. I mean, yeah, it'll hurt this area bad. What I understand, Amy Stevens has uh, co-sponsored both HB 1365 and SB 200, which I guess she claims to be a conservative. And I, in my mind, I don't understand how she can say she's a conservative and co-sponsor either one of these bills, let alone both. Her conservative values do not match most of the conservative values of Americans. She's got a pretty liberal view of quite a few things. Anybody that feels that way doesn't understand what's going on on the West Slope of Colorado. People like her don't understand what we do underground, you know. I mean, they don't understand what goes into producing coal. So that, that's the part that really makes me mad, you know. Representative Looper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'm asking for a no vote. If you look on page nine, where this sentence starts, and we'll uh, read it to page 10, it says the General Assembly finds that in designing a coordinated emissions reduction plan and to, with this amendment, expeditiously accelerate coal plant retirements. When you take a look at what expeditious means, it means it's done fast, speedily. And so are we talking about the loss of jobs that are going to get cut fast? Are we talking about shutting down coal-based power plants fast? That is why the amendment in the first place was so important, was to make sure that we could send a message to our workers we could send a message to those who are not in the middle of this bill right now, like Colorado Springs, who may potentially get, uh, get added to this provision in law someday. And so, members, I'm asking for a no vote on the cow because this one little word means the world to our workers, and it means the world to those stakeholders who were not invited to the table to have this very important discussion. And with that, members, I ask for a no vote on the cow. Close the machine. We have 53 aye votes, 12 no votes, and unexcused. House Bill 1365 is adopted.